With Borderlands 3's life cycle coming to an end and Borderlands releasing next month, I figured it was time to make a guide for the top 15 glitches that still work in 2022 for Borderlands 3. This video has taken a long time to make so if you enjoy please consider leaving a like or subscribing as it helps more than you can imagine. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The first glitch I'll be going over is the toboggan glitch. In order to do this glitch you will need to have the designers cut DLC and you want to get the toboggan artifact which drops from the two chests located here on the map Stormlight Complex. Once you have the toboggan, you will want to equip it and then down yourself while in the middle of sliding. The easiest way I found to do this is to slide into a barrel. You can get a second win or die and the glitch will still take effect. A few things about this glitch is that you need to keep the toboggan equipped for the glitch to stay active. If you slide, the glitch will end. If you die, the glitch will still be active and it does work through fast travel. And if you save quit, the glitch will end. The next glitch I'll be going over is the duplication glitch. In order to do this glitch you will need to join a friend's game and then you will want your friend to go into their bank and start spamming L1 and R1. While your friends are spamming you will want to go into your bank and then go to your inventory and spam deposit the item that you want to be duped. When you go back to the bank tab the item you spam deposited will be duped. A few things about this glitch is that if you're on the next gen consoles you want to have either multiple friends spamming their banks or have multiple background apps running. The next glitch I'll be going over is the infinite money glitch. In order to do this glitch you will need to have the Night Flyer legendary pistol. The Night Flyer can be dropped by I'm Rack Man located here on the map Carnivora on the planet Pandora. Once you've gotten the pistol you will want to fast travel to a place where thieving jabbers can spawn. But my favorite location to go to is the area right underneath Naughty Peak. Once you finally find a thieving jabber you want to kill him but make sure not to destroy the barrel that he is holding. Once the jabber is dealt with you will find the barrel he dropped then equip the night flyer pistol and start shooting the barrel. Money will start flying out of the barrel every time you shoot it and it will never be destroyed because the night flyer can't kill anything. The next glitch I'll be going over is the AFK Iridium glitch. In order to do this glitch you will need the Infinity Legendary Pistol which drops from the Anointed Alpha located here on the map the Anvil on the planet Eden 6. You can only farm the Anointed Alpha once the quest Malevolent Practice has been completed. Once you have the Infinity Pistol you want to set the Mayhem level to 1 with the modifier Loot Explosion then fast travel to the map Devil's Razor and follow this exact path. When you get here, you will want to start shooting the car. Every time you destroy the car, they will have a chance that will have a loot explosion which will drop iridium, cash, and weapons. The best way to do this is tie a rubber band around your controller or set up an auto clicker if you're on PC. A quick note about this glitch is every so often you want to run around and pick up the iridium because it can despawn after a certain time has passed. The next glitch I'll be going over is the Perma Revolter glitch. In order to do this glitch you need to have the Director's Cut DLC and you want to get the Revolter Legendary Shield that drops from Suma located here on the map Echelon Row on the planet Promethea. Once you have the Revolter you want to activate its effect. You can do this any way you want but the Action Skill Start Anoint works the best for this glitch. Once you have activated its effect, drop it then immediately equip a different shield. Then wait for the effect to wear off. Once the effect wears off, pick up the revolter and make sure the shield goes into your inventory and not your shield slot. A few things about this glitch is it does stay through fast travel and if you save quit, it will end.
The next glitch I'll be going over is the infinite skill point glitch. In order to do this glitch, you will need to join a friend's game. Once in game, you will want your friends to start causing as much lag as possible. Modded weapons work the best, but I personally don't like using modded weapons. Then you will want to go to the quick change station and respect your skill points, then go into your skill tree and start spamming as fast as you can all while your friends are lagging the game. Now sadly, I don't have enough friends to lag my game enough, so I had to use someone else's footage, but a few things about this glitch is that if you're on next gen consoles, you want to have more friends causing lag or multiple background apps running. The next glitch I'll be going over is the action skill cooldown rate glitch. In order to do this glitch, you need to have at least 50 points specced into the survivor guardian rank tree and have the skill topped off. Once you have the skill, you want to go to a quick change station and respec your skill points. Then go into your skill tree and put one point into any skill and respec again. Every time you respec, you will be stacking the topped off skill and you can repeat this as many times as you would like. A few things about this glitch is that it works through fast travel and if you save quit, it will go away. The next glitch I'll be going over is the infinite XP glitch. In order to do this glitch you need to have Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot DLC and find your way over to the Scrap Chat Nest located on the map The Compactor on the planet The Handsome Jackpot. Once you get there you will want to go ahead and kill off the Scrap Chaps and Scrap Trap Prime. After that you will want to find the shipping container and stand on the very edge of it and wait here for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then go back into the arena and they should respawn. A few things about this glitch is that grabbing the brain nanobots from the Borderlands Science minigame for about 500 credits will speed this up, but do note it only boosts Guardian Ring XP and Character XP and not Vault Card XP. The next glitch I'll be going over is the Photo Mode Gehenna glitch. In order to do this glitch you need to have the Bounty of Blood DLC and find your way over to the bank located here on the map Vestige on the planet Gehenna. Once you get there, you want to open the vault and then open photo mode and go up into the rafters. They are not solid so you should just go right through. Now you can exit photo mode and spam the interact button to open any of the lockers or chests in the vault. A few things about this glitch is the middle chest will always contain a Dakota shotgun and the lockers will always contain legendaries and when you save quit all the lockers and chests will respawn. The next glitch I'll be going over is the infinite golden and diamond keys glitch. In order to do this glitch you want to have a redeemable golden or diamond key sitting in your mail and then after that you want to go to your mail and disconnect from the internet and save and quit. Then load back into your game, go into the mail and claim your keys, then immediately save quit. When you load back in, the keys will still be in your mail and be ready to be claimed again. A quick thing about this glitch is you can do this with both golden and diamond keys as long as you have the codes and they are sitting in your mail. The next glitch I'll be going over is the crit swapping glitch. In order to do this glitch you need to have a weapon with high crit damage but the weapons that work the best with this glitch are the Unforgiven and the Guardian Angel. The Unforgiven drops from the Endo Tyrant on the map Floodmore Basin on the planet Eden 6 and in order to get the Guardian Angel you need to have the Director's Cut DLC and have gotten at least 5 keys and the Fallen Heroes Vault card. But the way you do this glitch is you shoot your first weapon shot and then immediately switch to the gun with high crit damage. When the first weapon shots land they will do the crit damage of the second weapon. A few things about this glitch is that the Unforgiven does the most crit damage in the game and the Guardian Angel will pretty much boost the damage of anything including grenades and action skills like Amara's face cast just to name one. The next glitch I'll be going over is the mail duplication glitch. In order to do this glitch you will need to have mail sent from a weapon manufacturer. A weapon manufacturer will send you mail after getting 100 kills with a weapon made by that manufacturer. 
After getting the mail, you want to go in and check the mail and claim the item that you want to be duped. Then go over to the Echo Cast tab and go back. When you go back, the item will still be there and it will be able to be claimed again. A quick thing about this glitch is that it works best when starting a new character and duping all the level 72 items in the mail and selling them for early SDU upgrades. The next glitch I'll be going over is the biofuel glitch. In order to do this glitch you need to have the designers cut DLC and be specced into the skill biofuel in Moses purple skill tree. The way this glitch works is that if you have 5 out of 5 specced into biofuel and are taking consistent damage from a source your health will hit 0 but you'll never be kicked out of iron bear. A quick thing about this glitch is that taking a damage over a time effect will not work and it will kick you out of Iron Bear. The next glitch I'll be going over is the Guardian Takedown Moe Skip glitch. In order to do this glitch you need to be playing as Moe's and the first skip you can do is when you're fighting Anathema, the Relentless, you can enter an Iron Bear and skip having to jump around to avoid that massive one hit bubble attack. This can make the fight way easier because you can just stay in the middle platform and do damage the entire time. The next skip you can do is when you're fighting Scourge the Invincible, you can jump into Iron Bear right as you're about to get teleported away. You'll know you're getting teleported away when this effect pops up around the screen. When you jump in Iron Bear, it will completely skip the teleport phase and ultimately lead to a faster fight. A quick thing about this glitch is you can also skip the Scourge teleport with Zane by deploying the clone and when you're about to be teleported away, just switch places with your clone. The next glitch I'll be going over is the out of map sanctuary glitch. In order to do this glitch you'll need to head over to Ava's room and jump on the table. Then jump on a light and look right here and then jump in mantle. If you did it right you will be pushed through the top of sanctuary and be able to walk around on top. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you made it this far comment what Borderlands class you're going to be playing and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.